Do, 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 do. Oh, when the prince does pretty much anything. Do, 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 do. What's up, guys? Yo, I got to Legendary Arena. Yes! Come on, come on. You guys are going to be surprised. Look, I hit 3,000. Boom, the animation is there. Hog Mountain and the card unlocks. And then we got a new offer. What is it? Yes! I get the uh, legendary chest offer and a bucket of jams. Why are you fronting on me? I ain't talking like you. I'm talking like my damn self. All right, sweet. Payment successful. All right, so it's restarting. <gasps> Come on, ten dollars for a log? You've got to be kidding me, dude. I kind of wanted the lumberjack or the miner. Last night, uh, I think I got to uh, Legendary Arena on this account, and then on my other account, I got into Legendary Arena like yesterday morning. So it's actually back to back that I got into uh, Legendary Arena. Now, this is the day after. Uh, I'm gonna show you a quick recap of when I got to it. So it's a, it's a very interesting deck. Uh, somebody just said it's a rocket bait deck. Uh, then I got it off a attorney. I was I went against this guy uh, Rashid and he was using this deck and I just I have like a 3.5 3.6 elixir deck But I was like man, I just I can't beat it and it was a little baity uh, But now that I'm playing it. It doesn't seem as baity as it's just regular gameplay um, It does have a inferno tower for lava hound uh, golem, it does it, it does so good against golems. It does perfect against golems. As soon as the golem starts walking up, he can be a level four, five, uh, six. You just uh, throw an ice spirit on him. It slows him down enough to a point where he can just pop and not even affect the inferno tower. Uh, it has a log for uh, for uh, for goblin barrels or goblin gang, which is like everywhere right now but if a person comes in um, with a lava hound and a balloon you just freeze them with an ice spirit you place the princess on the left lane and then that's how I would counter very rarely they have enough zap or anything like that for both of them you know and quite honestly like I, I think that's the perfect defense I wouldn't say that that's baity or anything like that you know, when you play a Lava Hand in a Balloon, you already come off as a bully, you know? I got I got the Lava Hand on my other account, and well, I think it's on this one, actually. And I was like, oh, check this out. Look at my tower, it's at 2. We are in overtime, and I just throw the rocket for a win. And this is like some of the awesome parts of this deck. I mean, like, how do you throw a rocket for a win, man? I never had anything like that. Uh, let me show you, um, okay, so this is the, and this is the Lava Hound deck that I beat, which ultimately got me into, uh, Legendary Arena. I might speed it up real quick and just to show it to you, but I was browsing, uh, Legendary Arena, and I noticed, uh, somebody had the same deck like mine. Is it this one? Yeah, look at it. This dude also has, it looks like it's making its way into the, uh, the meta. I don't know... Where is, is it this one? Uh, no, that's I am Brent Chong. Where is it? This one. Yeah. Man, I didn't realize this deck is really making its way up there right now. Like, this guy was using it. He lost, unfortunately. Uh, he lost to this guy, Galacticos. Uh, and he got him with the mortar. Everything he would keep putting on the bridge, like this princess, the mortar would just get him. Um, and I didn't watch this one. Where is it? Let's watch, let's watch this one. And then I will show you guys uh, me opening a legendary chest. And then we're going to hop onto my other account, which I have a giant chest and super magical chest to open. So that's going to be really fun. I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. I don't want to sit through the whole thing. Okay, so he went with the princess in the back. I, I don't think... I don't know. Playing, playing princess in the back, uh, it's safe if they have a minion horde. But I just think it, it really... You know, you want to chip with it. Okay, so looks like... Um, Looks like he's going against a uh, a graveyard deck, and he's not he's not playing his cards of right. 
Yeah, he's gonna lose this guy, it's Paints. I don't think he's gonna make it. Oh man, he was very close. He played his deck a little bit wrong. You don't, uh, you don't tank a Goblin Gang for with the Knight. Uh, let's get to opening these chests. I'm really excited to see what we got here. Okay, I also found out like how to know for sure you might get a Legendary. You see how it says three cards? Uh, we might get either gems and two like commons or a rare, or we might get an epic. Okay, but if you have four, it usually means you should have a legendary. Uh, either or you get gems and three other cards and it could be an epic too. Alright, let's do this giant chest first. Man, I've been sitting on this chest for a while. <clears throat> I think my magical chest is like in next rotation, but uh, I'm gonna need some room here. So we got two hogs. We got 26 furnaces and come on valkyrie and musketeer bombers man i don't really use these guys but whatever it'll do okay, i'm just gonna pop a screenshot of this for my story all right so here's the time we open this magical let's see if we get a legendary on here so we got uh 39 30 gold we got 50 goblin gang we got 30 73 uh bombers 170 barbs come on epics I don't know if we could squeeze in a legendary, but 189 fire spirits, man. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get my miner hat. And uh, okay, this is my miner hat. This is the hat that's gonna help me, guys, get my miner. If you don't believe me, you just gotta try it. You gotta put a miner hat on yourself. All right, let's see. Let's see. Is it a miner? Ice Wizard. Man, I really wanted a miner.